be nice. You know. Anyway, so yeah, Obsidian, uh, some tips and tricks to think about this. Uh, first of all, I might as well just go ahead and do this and uh, show you the armor model first or anything. So let me just uh, do that real quick. So let's take a look at the Obsidian armor profile. So this is the tank shooting itself with 212 millimeters of penetration. So this is like black ground here. Upper plate is from 200 down to 192. There's also a weak spot right here that is 80 millimeters. And I know a weak spot. Untold. Unheard of. We also have a tiny lower plate that is 100 millimeters. Which is about, yeah, 158 millimeters effective armor. And your turret is uh, pretty well armored. Uh, yeah, pretty well armored turret. But you do gotta be careful though, because it's only 35 millimeters on this part over here. So you get overmatched by heavy tanks with the uh, one. 120 millimeter guns so be careful with that and also high penetration shells can go straight through the mantlets but the main gimmick about this tank is the side armor and there's something special about the side armor here because get a collision here that plate right here this one here is 45 millimeters thick and the armor right behind the tracks is 40 millimeters you can see through that layer yeah it's highlighted there so what you can actually do in this tank you can over angle the tank at an angle like this and you still have a ricochet angle like you can think about it like this way the armor behind here can be ignored completely and you can just uh, use the spaced armor instead uh, as the actual armor. Now that might be sounding a little, bit, a little bit confusing here, but since this is 45 millimeters thick, that means if I know my calculus, take a calculator and take that times three, that means only 135 millimeter cannons and above is gonna overmatch this because it's 45 millimeters now uh, of course the 40 millimeters behind here will count in some scenarios but not always because yeah this right here is gonna act like the armor behind this but better and since this based armor is gonna be so effective against heat rounds so your optimal angle is like this so you aim your gun like just here so you have your gun for best angle possible you have it inside like this area here so if you keep your gun at the very end over here you have a perfect angle and which way you are pretty much uh, unpenable by most tanks of course you're not gonna bounce like super high tier tank destroyers or you know bigger guns like that like isu so yeah but uh, other things you can over angle this thing like crazy now of course you have this weakness right here you have 100 millimeters right here and uh, 86 about here and this little area here so what you want to do here is that you want to peek out around the corner at this type of angle and bait them to shoot you right along this area right here if you can bait them to shoot here you're good and then you can poke out shoot and they can uh, only really have penny shots here or here and since the freaking ball thing is right here it actually acts as pretty good protection so you can actually absorb uh, some shells i guess shot into here but only low pen gun so so don't expect much yeah so if you you imagine uh, this box right here as being the corner you came out of so right behind here this area here this is where you want to peek out first with let's do a visual model here so this is what people are gonna see so this area right here is penable but not this area here it's not penable at all and also at this angle your upper plate is uh, pretty effective uh, but uh, don't rely on that too much though try to rely on your side armor by well over angling the side armor to try and bait which is basically the same thing you do with the t 22 medium you over angle the side armor to bait for them to shoot at so that's the armor model now over to some uh, stats now with this tank you cannot really reach your top speed uh, at all you see that it has 47 kilometers an hour top speed that is uh, only down 
downhill and uh, your actual top speed is gonna be around the 40s when you get all the field mods yeah, so you do get a plus three percent engine power boost and i do highly recommend to take a turbo put it in the slots it's gonna help it out a lot but uh, even with this it's still gonna be very slow so don't expect to go anywhere quickly with the tank I highly recommend also going for, uh, well, soft stats improvements like uh, off-road driving. Very, very handy. Off-road driving will be king for this tank. Highly recommend to go, go for that first if you do have it. And uh, I do keep some setups here. One for mobility and one for sniping. Because, surprisingly enough, this thing has good accuracy. Look at that. 0.31 and that's without food and with the uh, vents and the aiming thing you get to 0 0.29 which is pretty good so but uh, I only keep this loadout for you know the big open maps like uh, Prokhorovka super useful with this little setup now you could I'm not saying that you should but you could try and do a scouting loadout instead Get like you know exhaust optics mission system with the uh, concealment this thing actually has it's actually pretty good so if you want to scout don't recommend it though you can theoretically you can but not recommended but uh, mostly i used use turbo rammer and v-stab basically uh, what you should be using Hello, this is Go from the future. Go from the present did not include the fuel mods of the tank. So here I am letting you know the recommendations for the fuel mods. So for the fuel mods, you want to go left for the module durability increase. Then you want to take the right for improved sight. And then you want to take the left one for turbocharger tuning. Because you're not gonna be using the anti-reflective headlights coating for the extra camo. Because you're not supposed to be at the back of the pack. You need to be at the front in most scenarios. And you don't have to reassign a uh, second slot category at all. Completely unnecessary. You don't need to. Now back to gold in the present. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's uh, take it out into battle, and uh, I'll show you how to play it. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Tier 6s. Nice. I'm still going to be careful, though, because they do have all eyes and, and a ramen tile. So be careful with those. Now again, remember, don't uh, get your gun past this uh, ball right here on these sides. So when you try to side scrape here, it's the best and a maximum uh, angle you should be poking around with. So this will be perfect angle to go around the corner bait. And uh, if you get past this, they're going to pan you. So be careful. So hopefully somebody will go here, which uh, doesn't seem like it. So that's going to be an issue. Yeah, so again, remember, optimal angle right here, like so. Now they will not pen me unless they hit at a very specific point. Okay. Now also, one very good thing about this, it actually has a pretty good DPM. Very comparable to a uh, Kampanzer 07 or H in the terms of fact of low alpha but high DPM potential. But uh, this thing has uh, actual armor to use, so it's uh, some situation a lot better than Kampanzer, especially with the fact that the turret on that thing is super huge so poor levy's uh, his engine is getting knocked out no feels bad yeah when you over angle this thing and bait them to shoot you it feels so good yeah again remember maximum angle to nice grip with now i can actually do this because their boss is not in the optimal location so this is what i'm gonna do a side scrape like this. <laughs> yeah, see, see how I bounced both of his shells when he doubled at me? 
even though technically my side armor is a overmatch, but thanks to the spaced armor, it uh, absolutely just negates that completely. And uh, you just bounce. Simply as that. Now, obviously, your roof is auto pen for everyone that has a 122 or higher. <laughs> oh, the baits you can do here is crazy. Yeah, again, always keep it at an angle like this, and you should be fine. Use the balls as a reference guide. Let's angle it. I actually love this thing. It's really freaking good. I mean, look at that. 5.4k damage. But, uh, yeah. That was a pretty good example. Eh? Yeah, this thing is... Oh, look at the profit. Holy moly. Well, of course, I did complete a event thing here, a premium mission and a third daily mission. But without that, it would have still been a 140 credit profits or 135. But yeah, hope that helps with the obsidian. So that's uh, my quote. Use the balls. <laughs> Literally, use the balls. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what other tank you want me to make a guide of. Leave suggestions in the comments below. And that's it for me. See you later. Bye bye.